What is up, everyone? Today, boom, City of Stairs by Robert Jackson Bennett. This was the Shelf Space Discord server's book of the month pick for January, and there was a live show for this book hosted by Jesse May and Books with V. I will link their channels and the live show. So yeah, I didn't really know anything coming into this book, what it would be about, but it starts with some pretty serious world building. Basically, there's this place called the Continent, who was the global power of the world. And then there was the city in the continent called Bulakov, and they had these gods, and these gods had powers, and had powerful artifacts, and all of this stuff. But one day, someone from like a small nation killed the gods, and the colonized basically became the colonizers. So then, boom, fast forward 80 years Bulakov, once powerful, is now oppressed, and has been oppressed for 80 years, and there's this trial. That's where this book starts, in this trial. And basically, there's the shop owner who is in trouble because he displayed one of the symbols of the gods, and the oppressors are really cracking down on free speech, and basically any reference to the gods at all for any reason, totally illegal. So that's why this business owner's in trouble. And he's like, huh, what, this symbol? I had no idea that it was, like, a symbol. But, like, he, like, obviously knew. And I thought this was a very cool way to introduce us to the world. And it definitely sets the tone for, like, the first half of this book and even later in the book for just very rich world building. You know, if we're talking about, like, something like censorship laws, right, that's, like, pretty niche in a lot of societies. Although it can be very important because, you know, obviously if certain topics are just totally off limits, such as like like someone's religious beliefs, that's bad. Or I guess, I guess we here in the United States would consider that bad. And let's use this censorship example of something that actually happened in the real world. Uh, I immediately thought of apartheid South Africa. The biggest anti-apartheid leader was, of course, Nelson Mandela. So the oppressor's took Mandela, jailed him, of course, with the help of United States intelligence, and the apartheid government of South Africa made it totally illegal to say Nelson Mandela's name, write his name, talk about him at all. So that theme of, like, oppressors censoring an entire nation, that's, like, a very real thing. And again, a lot of the situations in this book feel very real. Now, you may think, oh, wow, this is such a great setup for... Uh, you know, oppressed people, we get to follow one of them, and how are they going to overthrow the oppressors? Well, you're wrong. This book actually follows one of the intelligence agencies of the oppressors. Enter Shara, who comes to Bulakov to investigate who murdered this academic professor, scientist, cultural historian type person. And it kind of turns into like a spy mystery type thing, like, oh, what happened to this person who was murdered? And what exactly was the motive? And did they like steal any of this researcher's research for any reason? And maybe that was why he was murdered. And it's like, well, what was he researching? Let's try to find out. And very few things are better for world building than an investigation of what happened to this very culturally significant person. And it's like, who would kill this very iconic figure among the oppressors? Well, maybe some of the rebels. Well, let's learn about the rebel groups. Where do they operate? Who are their leaders? Where do they get power? What are their goals? Do they support the old gods who some of the old gods have power that lingers? And you may ask me, well, Gregory, this doesn't even sound like a fantasy book. And to that I say, yeah, the first half really doesn't even feel too much like a fantasy book. There are definitely fantastical elements in the city of Bulakov, and some of the magic from the old dead gods now kind of lingers in the city. The old gods have enchanted objects that are left behind, and you kind of encounter those and learn about those. And it kind of seems like a soft magic system, like anything can be enchanted to do anything you could possibly imagine. So yeah, that's kind of a synopsis, and a lot of what I like. I loved the world building here. I liked the themes but here's what I didn't like. So we've got Shara, right? And she has her secretary, Sigrid, who is this large man who you learn more about, and he has a cool backstory, and he does cool things, Sigrid does. But Shara, she's like this spy for this 
global hegemonic intelligence agency. So already that's someone who's like not someone who would be my like cup of tea generally. And then just by being in that position and being kind of a diplomat as well, she's kind of involved with, you know, like venture capitalist and like royalty and like warlords and kind of just like the elite. And basically what I'm saying is none of these people are likable and these people are very difficult for me to relate to and probably for most people to relate to. That was a common critique. The characters were not relatable. And there were a lot of missed opportunities, I felt, between the characters and like the kind of themes of the world. And again, there were like oppressive colonizing power structures in this. So whenever there's something like that, I always want to see like oh how is that power challenged is it challenged in a realistic way and my issue with shara and a lot of people she ran with is no they didn't challenge power in serious ways certainly not for most of the book at least although it definitely feels like there's kind of a setup to maybe challenge power structures a bit more in the next book and and that's definitely a lot of why i'm going to read the next book because i really think there's a lot here in this book to build off of so yeah boom those were my thoughts city of stairs i haven't been doing star ratings recently but i would kind of say this is pretty much a four star book basically world building amazing magic good characters meh potential for future books pretty good i think and we mostly followed around shara in this book i think we're going to be following around some other characters in the future books so that's exciting anyway that's everything like comment subscribe let me know what you guys thought of city of stairs should i continue on with the series does it get better and yeah see you guys next time